Good afternoon. I'm F.S. One Vernon Joyner, and welcome to another session of Cooking with a Coastie. Today we're going to cook New York style bagels. For our mise en place, for our bagels, we're going to have two and a half pounds of bread flour. If you don't have bread flour, you can use all purpose flour. The only difference is with bread flour, you get a chewier product. One teaspoon of yeast. We have warm water, finger to the touch, not too hot, and that is 23 fluent ounces. We have salt, kosher salt. We have one ounce of that. And we have malt syrup. If you don't have malt, you can use molasses if you want to, or honey. We have maybe a half an ounce of this. And we also have more malt, which is five ounces, which is for our boiling water when we put our bagels in. And for our garnishes, we have sesame seeds. We have a mixture of cinnamon and sugar. And we have some garlic and salt. So now, let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our flour, our bread flour, and we're going to put it in our mixing bowl. Ooh, don't make a mess. This is a one-stage method, meaning we're going to put everything in the mixing bowl at the same time. There's no other steps to it. It's simple. Just put everything in at the same time. Put my yeast in. Put my salt. I'm going to go ahead and put my malt in there. And an easier way for your malt to come out, if you want to, before, you can spray down your monkey dishes with a little bit of pan spray and also help for the mold to come out a little faster. Last, I'm going to go ahead and just throw the water in there. Hook up my attachment. We're going to put it on a low speed for maybe about four minutes. Then after the four minutes, we're going to check on our dough and then we're going to put it on another five minutes on medium speed. So the first one is going to be on low speed just to get that gluten developed. And we'll go from there. So now the four minutes are up. Now we're going to put it on medium speed for about five minutes. So now, a total of nine minutes is over. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the dough out. Make sure you take the attachment out. So now, once you take your dough out your bowl, your dough should be nice and smooth. It should have, feel that gluten formed in there. You should be able to stretch it out a little bit. It shouldn't tear on you. If it tears, you may need to put it back in the mixing bowl and let it go for a little bit. So now, once we get it out the mixing bowl, we're gonna scale it. We're gonna scale these into five ounce portions. And you also, you don't have to scale them to five ounces. It can be what you want. If you want big bagels that you see in the bakery, you can do that. But if you want smaller bagels where it can go a longer way, then you can go ahead and do two ounces. But I like them big, so I'm going with five. Remember when you're doing your bagels, that is still a science. So don't try to add extra water or do whatever. Just follow the instructions. And it'll most definitely come out all the time perfect. And perfect, that's another five ounces right there. So once we have all our, our dough balls and our five ounce portions, now we're gonna turn to oblong shapes. So basically all you do is get the dough, put it in the palm of your hands, and just go like that. This is gonna help us out when we start rolling our bagels out. So once you get it like that, put them beside right here. And if um, when you're doing this and the dough is a little sticky or it's getting a little tacky, you can put some water on your hand just to moisten your hands a little bit so it won't stick as much. Don't add flour to your um, to your board because if you add flour to your board, you're all coping with flour to your product, which can mess it up. All right, once I have my shapes there, I'm going to get some plastic wrap and I'm going to cover them. So at this point, 
we're gonna let the dough rest a little bit, let that gluten kind of relax for about 10 minutes. And after the 10 minutes is up, we're gonna come back and then we're gonna start shaping our bagels into the nice circle that we love. So now it's been about 10 minutes and let's check them out. Still nice and moist. Nice stretch, they're good. So now we get our blonde shaped dough. What we're gonna do is we're gonna get it and we're gonna try to roll it out to about 10 inches. Evenly. That's pretty good right there, good 10 inches. Now, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna get the dough, we're gonna get three fingers, put it right here, we're gonna take this in and overlap it with this in like that. So it's looking like this. How they're overlapping each other. What you're gonna do is, what I used to do is I kinda pinch it together like that. Put it on the deck and I roll it like this to make sure it's almost even. They don't have to be perfect. Once it's finished, you get it. I forgot to mention you also have cornmeal that you put on your on your sheet pan with your parchment paper. This helps the bagels not to stick. If you don't have cornmeal readily available, you can use grits or you can use oats, whole oats. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of cornmeal on it. Seam side down. I put my bagel there. Let's keep going. Roll this one out about 10 inches. Like I said, you don't have to do 10 inches. If you want miniature ones, you can go 5 inches, you can go 4 inches, whatever you want is your preference. Roll it again just like that. Have them overlapping. I pinch them together and I roll them. Seam side down. Put them like that. Let's go to the next one. So now they're all rolled up into their nice, beautiful circles. We're going to wrap them up. And they need to sit and retard in the refrigerator for eight hours overnight. But with that being said, already have some over there, already finished, ready to go. So now, here's the part where we put the bagels into the hot boiling water, basically almost poaching it. And what happens when we drop these bagels into the water, what it does is the water is activating that yeast. Basically waking that yeast up and helping to get that shine and helping to get that rise when we put it in the oven. So once I put the malt in there, just kind of stir in there, make sure it's in there. Get my bagel. I'm gonna drop them in there. Be careful when you're taking off the parchment paper because they are sticky. And I'm gonna leave them in for about maybe 20 seconds, flipping them occasionally. And what you can do is you can also kind of slowly move them around because you don't want them to stick together. Another thing I didn't mention is, the longer you keep your bagels sitting overnight, the truer your product you'll get. And as you see, they're starting to get a little bigger because that yeast is activated. Once that's done, get them, put them on our sheet pan with our rack. Let them drain off. Oh, look at those, those look beautiful. We haven't even put them in an oven yet. So now, once we take them out of the boiling water while they're, while they're poaching in there, we let them sit on the racks and let them drain a little bit. 
once they've drained a little bit, the garnishes that we had in the beginning with the sesame seeds, the cinnamon and sugar mixture, and the garlic and salt mixture, we can start putting in our bagels before we put them in the oven. A little bit of sesame, sprinkle a little bit on there. And you can have fun with this. You can do anything you want to. You can do black sesame seeds. If you want to, you could put raisins. Let's go with the cinnamon and sugar one. And the next one, we're gonna do the garlic and salt. Even though we have a silicone mat there, I still don't trust the fact that these are still moist and you're putting on something hot, they're gonna stick no matter what. So I still spray it down. Once I spray it down, I get my spatula and I just gently put them on there. So now once we have them on our sheet pan, it's time to put them in the oven. I already have my oven set at 400, 400 degrees. This is the convection oven. If you're dealing with a regular conventional oven at home, just take 50 degrees off, off of that. So you'll be doing 350 if you're doing it at home. Here, we're doing at 400, and we're gonna put them in 14 minutes. 14 minutes till they get nice, and get that nice brown color on there. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put it in for the first seven minutes. Once seven minutes goes off, I'm gonna flip the pan around, put it back in, and we'll go from there. So now our seven minutes are up. Let's take a look at it. Hot oven. So as you can see, they're getting to that nice golden brown. And now we're gonna flip the pan. We're gonna put it in for another seven minutes, and it should be done. Make sure you have uh, some hot pads under it. So once they're finished, taking them out the oven, you want to let them sit for maybe about five, five to ten minutes. So when you cut them open, you don't burn yourself. So now our bagels are cool, and now let's check and see if they're done. Love to hear that nice crunchy sound. Make sure you bend your knife, and voila, there you go. Nicely cooked. It's breaking to have nice and chewy. Nice check texture to it. That's the way we want it. Thank you for joining. Cooking with a Coastie. I'm Evans Vernon Joyner. And see you next time.